this cold December day We are on our merry way Riding along just singing a song Barreling through the snow Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling Rudolph knows where to go Pepper, are you about ready to go to the groomers? Do you like the groomer? You can go get your hair cut. Maybe your teeth brushed. What do you think? Should we show everybody how shaggy you are? You'll be a lot more comfortable when you get a little bit shorter fur, huh? Okay, we'll check in with you later. Bye. Pepper, what do you think? Are you all shorn now? Did you get a little haircut? Did you get a cute little snowflake bandana? Yeah, they said you were a very good girl. Is that true? Were you a good girl at the groomers? Oh, of course you were. Of course. Hello again. It's been a few days since I have opened up some advents, so I need to actually catch up on day 14 and 15. So join me as I open these. First with Clark and Elle on her worsted base. Here's day 14. Ooh. Kind of some browns and mustards with some silvery grays. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now for day 15. Ooh, a nice creamy with some brown speckles. Oh, that's gonna be very nice. Next to each other in my Wrap It Real Good shawl. Absolutely loving that pattern. Oh, very nice. Excited to add those to my shawl and catch up on that pattern. Next for my knit styles. Now I finished opening the 12 day advent from her. So this is continuing on with the 24 day. This is day 14. It says strawberry shortcake. So I would imagine we've got some pretty shades of red with maybe some tan to represent the cake part of the shortcake. Ooh, with some other fun colors too. Ooh, I really like this one a lot. Look at those gorgeous speckles. This will be very fun to add to my Huga and Hearth. And then number 15 is called Taffy Pull. I don't really know what to think about this one. Taffy could be basically any color. Maybe like a light blue. We'll see if I'm right. Ooh. All kinds of beautiful colors with sort of this really dark purple anchoring everything. Oh my goodness, and she has some oranges and greens in here. Super, super pretty. I cannot wait to add this one to my Huga and Hearth Infinity Scarf as well. Now for Suburban Stitcher, day 14. She's kind of going in a rusty terracotta direction these last few days in her fade advent. These colors should all fade together. So let's see what she has. Ooh, now it's kind of going into a purple, really dark plum, almost eggplant. Gorgeous. And then let's see where it goes on day 15. Ooh, a little bit of that eggplant, but transitioning into some gold. Look at how nicely those two go together. Love it. This is her single ply base and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be casting on the River City Wrap with this. 
And I'm hoping to have enough left over where I could do one of Amba O'Brien's cowls. I think it's the Adventure Ring cowl that I did last year. I think it would look really pretty in a fade. So this was day 14 and 15 of Suburban Stitchers Advent. I wanted to take a quick minute and open something that I just got in the mail. I'm super excited. I just got my first installment of the Broadway Musicals Yarn Club from Nancy of Trilogy Yarn. This is a brand new club that she is starting and I am a huge Broadway fan. And so when she said that she had a new club filled with colorways that are inspired by the artwork for Broadway musicals, I just had to do it for sure. So I've not opened this yet. This will be brand new to me. Just got this package yesterday. So if you are a member of her Broadway club and have not gotten your package yet, feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to see. Let's see what is in here. Okay. So she's got a few little extras. This cute trilogy yarn little tote project bag will be perfect to put something in. Excellent. And then a small sample of Eucalan grapefruit. And then here is the yarn. It was inspired by A Christmas Story, the musical. She sent a little picture of the artwork and yes, she definitely captured the artwork from this Broadway musical. Did you guys know that this was a musical? This actually premiered here in my home theater of the Fifth Avenue in Seattle before it went to Broadway. It's a great, great show, wonderful music. This makes me want to watch the movie now too. So here it is, how pretty. We've got some of the yellow for the leg lamp and then some green on a green wash with some red speckles as well. Super pretty. I am excited to knit up some Christmas socks with this. I did get this on her Merino Cashmere Nylon 4-ply fingering. 80% superwash merino and 10% cashmere and 10% nylon. Love it, Nancy. Excellent job this first month of your Broadway Musicals Club. I would show you a couple of my recent finished objects. My November Desert Vista Dye Work socks were these green striped socks from the colorway You're a Mean One. I just did a plain vanilla sock with an afterthought heel. And then I finally finished my April Cozy Knitter Yarn of the Month socks. This was in the colorway Bed of Roses. I did a plain vanilla sock toe up with a Fish Lips Kiss heel for that one.
I got some happy mail today. This is my mystery mini skeins from Crystal Skies Hand Dyed in the color Winter Green. This is the progress I have been making on my coziest memory blanket. I just finished a third complete row and I am hoping to keep adding on to this blanket in the new year. This was the last square that I completed. This was from the 2020 Advent by Legacy Fiber Arts. And then soon I will be adding right over here with a yarnable colorway from 2020 called Sweet Confections. Here in this bag I have all my leftover knit style scraps and then my little Clark and L scraps from my wrap it real good wrap. I think I might try to do some of the scrappy patterns by the Cozy Up Knits Girls with my leftover worsted from Clark and L. We'll see, they have a cute hat, cowl, and fingerless mitts. I'm kind of tempted to try some fingerless mitts. And then I will definitely add these to my coziest memory blanket at some point. And then I'm not quite sure what I'll do with the rest of these scraps from Knit Style that I have been putting in my Huga and Hearth scarf. We shall see. All of my leftover Suburban Stitcher and 12 Day Knit Style I am just hanging on to in these boxes to use in the new year. With my Knit Style I'm going to do the Adventurer Cowl by Amba O'Brien. And then with my Suburban Stitcher I plan on doing the River City Wrap by Allison Le Cicero. <laughs> is a pair of socks I knit for a friend for Christmas. This is in the colorway Alameda by Knit Picks and it's just the plain vanilla socks on nine inch circular pattern by Kay Litton, the crazy sock lady.